screen man I really need to know Is there any chance, sir That your whistle didn't blow seeing the advanced warning sign. It's a little dull. Uh, don't have any fog. It probably has some moisture on it though. Don't see the cross buck from here. Oh, it's checked real bad. That uh, sign we read 10 and then we wiped the moisture off and we got 80. And uh, so the moisture has a lot to do with it. Oh, look at the cross buck. It's a five footer. Very old. Hardly shows up at all. I doubt if you're gonna see this in the camera at all. It's a button sign. It is a, an old, old uh, white glass beads on white enamel. Very, very old. Should be replaced in. in should a be in a museum, should Right. It? Note the cross buck, the old fashioned one is not as bright. Also, note the pole cannot be seen. It blends right in with the train. And if it weren't for the cars on the other side, the train would be invisible and one would run right into it. Meanwhile, railroad and transportation experts are hoping a new type of crossing will reduce accidents and save lives, especially at night. The key, highly reflective mirrors that not only warn motorists sooner that they are approaching a crossing, but tell them if the train is coming through. This new design was tested tonight in Delaware County, and Bob Singleton was there. Ohio is second only to Texas in the number of railroad crossing accidents, 326 last year alone with 58 people killed. Reason enough for railroad and transportation officials from 10 states to converge on rural Delaware County to test the latest in passive warning technology. Ooh, look at that. The light source of a locomotive approaching the crossing will reflect off the, these signs to an oncoming motorist. Joyce says the Conrail Project 50 warning device will increase warning capacity at the nation's 180,000 passive rail crossings by 1,000%. The reflection of this sign will pass right through the windshield of an oncoming vehicle, where the cross buck is, nine feet is five feet above the roof of an automobile. Although it's still in the testing stage, developers cite four reasons they're hopeful the new sign will be approved. It's simple, it, uh, it's cheap, it's durable, and it works, and it works with high intensity. We're on Berlin Station Road in Delaware County heading west towards the Conrail grade crossing track and the, we can now just now see the train lights. We're 900 feet from the crossing. As soon as the train starts across the crossing, we're going to move forward slowly. Now we're at 800 feet from the crossing. Six hundred feet. 400 feet, we have our dims on. This is 200 feet from the crossing. This is high intensity sheeting on this cross bucket on the shield. And this is the end of the train, about 150 feet. On the, on the side, on the, on the left side. Uh -huh. Okay, we're 3,000 feet from the cross. Okay. Now, I'll turn off the ditch lights. Oh, what a oh, oh, we still have a headlight on. Yeah. Now I'll turn off the headlight. Okay. 
Okay? Let's try the ditch lights. Not just the ditch lights. Now you do know that the ditch lights and the headlights are not the same brightness. These are what? These are 250 volt. The ones down here are 300. Each? Yes, each. Yes. So now I have a headlight on bright and ditch lights are on. And I'm ready to go. The headlights of an automobile up in those mirrors is going to bother you as an engineer then. Oh no, no. In fact, you know, it'll help us out, because I'll, I'll tell you why. As an engineer, many times in inclement weather, yeah. when you have a lot of fog or rain like tonight, yeah. you have enough to do right. without worrying about those crossings. And you know, without that ditch light, this is all that we have to work with. I know. There's our headlight. Right. And for an engineer to memorize where every road crossing is, exactly where it is, well, that's his job. But sometimes maybe the train train's handling funny or you're gonna break at that time or, or whatever. You're hurt in a bad car or something. You just can't do it. Oh, I, I think the ditch lights are a good idea. And so are those cross bucks. They help us out as an engineer. Long and hard before you drink and get behind the wheel. Those trains can't stop. In a second's time, and death is bare.